The Palestinian resistance movement, Hamas, says Iran's military response to Israel's deadly April 1st strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus confirmed the end of the regime's era of acting without accountability or punishment. In a statement on Wednesday, Hamas said, the response from the Islamic Republic of Iran confirms that the time when the Zionist entity could act as it wanted without accountability or punishment has ended and with it, the illusions of betting on it. In the multi-pronged Operation True Promise on April 13th, Iran launched hundreds of drones and missiles at the occupied territories. The operation has inflicted damage on Israeli military bases across the occupied territories. The extent of damage is yet to be specified. The Israeli airstrikes on Iran's embassy compound in Damascus killed two generals of the Quds force of IRGC, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Zahedi and General Mohammad Hadi Haji Rahimi, as well as five of their accompanying officers. Israel has killed over 34,000 people, mostly women and children, in Gaza since early October. Figures also show more than 14,500 of Gaza's 1.1 million children have been killed since. Following Iran's attack, Israel says it must retaliate to preserve the credibility of its deterrence. Iran has already warned Israel against taking any retaliatory actions and also urged the United States to keep away from involvement in the conflict and signaled that it viewed the matter as concluded. In conclusion, Hamas once again called on the Arab and Islamic nation, the resistance forces in the region and the free people of the world to continue supporting our Palestinian people in the glorious battle of Al-Aqsa flood to liberate their land and sanctities. Britain and Italy have called on Israel to refrain from any acts that will fuel tensions in West Asia days after Iran punished the regime for its terrorist attack against the Islamic Republic's diplomatic premises in Syria. Speaking on a visit to the occupied Al-Quds on Wednesday, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron warned that an escalation of regional tensions is in no one's interest. We hope that anything Israel does is as limited and as targeted and as smart as possible, he said, after meeting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The top British diplomat also took to X to say that any Israeli act must do as little to escalate this conflict as possible, noting that the focus should be on getting more aid into the Gaza Strip and releasing Israeli captives held in the Palestinian territory. On April 1st, Israeli warplanes bombed the consular annex of Iran's embassy in Damascus. The terrorist air raid killed 13 people, including seven military advisors of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC. During the weekend, Iran exercised its inherent right of self-defense under Article 51 of the UN Charter and conducted a large-scale retaliatory operation that involved firing hundreds of missiles and drones at military sites in the occupied lands. Left humiliated by the major attack, Israel mulls next move, but its allies have called for restraint amid fears of a regional war. In remarks similar to those by Cameron, Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani said he had spoken to his Israeli counterpart, Israel Katz, and urged the regime to not only de-escalate any reaction to Iran, but to refrain from a planned offensive into the southern Gaza city of Rafah.